And with that, the framing of Project Wilson is now complete. Welcome back to Project Wilson! In the last video, we got this live well completely framed in place. Everything's good there. Now we need to work on the rear deck. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm getting ready to attach the tube aluminum as my vertical supports for this back deck. I realize that now I need to remove the tank in order to rivet from this side in, which is fine. But I just noticed something when I reach down in here, I need to cut out a little bit more from this side and this side from this hole that we have. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that while I have this tank out, but we gotta figure out. I got this thing pretty snug in here. Oh, I think it's gonna rain. Let's see if we can get this done before it does. I always hit my right angle with this. Make sure we're all good. Use the big clamp on the bottom just to start out smaller clamp up top so I have room to put a rivet in get the drill counter sink oh boy okay okay welcome to Georgia where it rains all the time for no reason. Oh no. Oh no. It's starting. It's starting. Oh no. It is about to pour. Okay, well, the lighting might not be as good in here, but at least we'll be dry. We got these vertical supports in. Um, this is all really solid now. This is our last lid. This is gonna be the one for the rear uh, compartment. So this is a three, three sided lid. This is the exact same as all the other lids except for it's only on three sides. So you can notice we got a little notch right there and a little notch right there for to sit inside that track system. And the underside of this is more supportive as well, has welded tubing put into it uh, for extra support. Um, no drain port on this one no drain port is needed i do not know how much distance i'm going to need to leave for this engine hmm. here either way i gotta find the center for this thing so let's go ahead and do that first get our measuring machine out We're good right there. So now we're gonna measure from the transom back to here. Do 23 and a half. Another and another one. Cut that notch in here. Forgot about that. Okay, 
this in now. What I'm going to do is clamp that. Plan A did not go as expected, so let me show you guys what we have going on right here. One and a half inch angle running all the way back to this other mainframe piece. We have support here, one and a half inch angle, and another support here. Now originally I was trying to finagle some type of angled piece right in here, uh, but that was not going to work, mainly because it was going to be extremely difficult for me to get a drill bit in there and a rivet and all that stuff. So. We do have this riveted on the back side, um, so everything is supported, looking looking really nice. We did the same thing on this side. Um, now we need to make sure that that three-sided lid is going to fit back here. Now this entire area right here that's open is not going to be vertically supported. This is the way it's going to be. These two supports hold up this this piece, which everything's going to run off of there and then it's gonna be supported on the side. I might run another support on each side over here, but as far as for anything vertical, this is, this is gonna be it. Oh. <laughs> yes. That looks good. That looks real good. Everything opens, it's fine. I think the only thing I'm going to do is try to cut an angle in here some way, somehow. Don't really know the best tool to do that with, but that will kind of set all this straight and give me, you know, a quarter more of an inch. We have around five inches, a little less than five inches of space between the transom and the lid, which I think is going to be okay. I don't have the motor here to put on to see exactly how much space I need but that should be just enough. Um, obviously any water that comes down here from rain or whatever is gonna come straight to the bilge pump, so I'm not necessarily worried about that, but I would like him to have enough space here to run all those cables for the fuel lines and stuff like that. So we just did the live stream not too long ago, ate dinner. It's a little late at night, so I already pre-cut uh, all these pieces. All right, the framing, we had this, this is basically the rear piece to the back side of the live well. So this is basically the piece that we worked completely off of for the rest of this rear deck. We sat the lid into place, made sure that we had these two pieces in the right position, the right place. And then once those were set in, we put in the vertical supports. Now this is basically what's supporting this whole back side vertically from here to this other frame piece. We have one of those on each side, and then we have about four rivets um, on each side holding that in. Now, originally I was gonna do something super crazy here where this piece connected to the transom and then moved back out over towards this part of the framing, but that was gonna be extremely difficult to do. Everything is solid, and I'm extremely pumped about that. Now, right here, is where our seat pedestal is going to be. This is going to cross between these two lids, which I'll show you in a second. When this boat is all finished, I want this to basically be a 
design piece in the finished product and what I mean by that is we're gonna probably find some way to make this look pretty but this is the last piece of one and a quarter inch tubing that I had um, and I'm using the tubing there because then that way I can run stainless steel hardware straight through each one of these holes and it's gonna just bind all of this together I am gonna put some 1 16th inch diameter flat bar right in between here so that it all sits flush and that's just going to give this a little bit added structure and stability when that seat pedestal is in here and anyone's rocking or sitting funny on it so that should hold very very well there are no vertical supports on the side i was trying to figure of a way to uh, make some basically but anything i was going to do is going to kind of look a little weird because this whole hatch is going to open up and you're going to be able to see all that three rivets on each point where the aluminum touches the vertical supports i did have to rivet from the inside so we had to remove the live well thank you for stopping by for this episode of project wilson i'm fire ant hit that subscribe button hit the like button if you enjoyed this video leave a comment down below if you have any questions comments concerns and i'll see you guys in the next episode thank you